Hello, everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, Season 2, Episode 20. If you were new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows as well as scripted shows. If you're returning, you one of my people, hold on back. <clears throat> we have one comment from last episode, so let's get into it. It is from Kid of the King. I don't see it for she who shall remain nameless, neither do I. When she didn't see it for, I didn't see it for she who shall remain nameless when I seen that Blackmore statue in her house. Her racism runs deep. I agree. And the fact that she's go, she goes after Mary for the little things, but not the other ladies. I'm like, you were telling, boo, you were telling the truth. Shout out, hey, boo. But yeah, you were speaking the whole entire truth. And like a lot of YouTubers and reviewers was like, what is this? Raw, raw energy that she has from Mary. Now, y'all, I apologize. I just got done trying to do this video a minute ago, but <clears throat> that was happening. I had to dog and clear my throat, and I had to do that several times. And I was like, oh, these people are not going to want to see this. So you're going to have to do this again. But yeah, I totally agree. She has all this energy and this raw, raw for Mary, and Mary has done nothing to her. She has done this since the first episode when she got in Mary's face and fussed and cussed her out, and she didn't know Mary from doggone it, <clears throat> the people up the street who was from out of town. But she had all this energy for Mary. Doggone it, Jen then got all up in her face and fussed and cussed at her, and she ain't did hello about dog kiss foot. But anyway, back to the review and i do apologize if i'm clearing my throat a lot tell the weather here in houston this last week has been horrendous when i tell you thursday night it was like 20 to 30 degrees outside and i was supposed to friday i was supposed to get out and about and do some things and i was like i'm not leaving the house I refused to do it. I had a doctor's appointment. I called him and I'm like, I'm not going to be able to come in. It is too cold outside. I refused to do it and I didn't. If y'all hear my heater, it's because it was, you know, like 52 degrees outside right about now. It's still a little cold and I'm refusing to catch a cold. So here we go. Meredith says in her confession, you know, Jen must be behind all this because, you know, they're the one that believes she is the one to call the feds on Jen. She says that she would have loved to have been on the bus to see Jen get arrested if she had a call to fence, but she didn't have anything to do with it. And I'm like, why is nobody sitting here thinking, hmm, so y'all really believed in Meredith? She has the power to be like, hey, dude from the feds, you know, we went to high school together. I want you to arrest Jen, and I want you to do it on this day. And I want you to bring in Homeland Security. I want you to bring in the uh, NYPD. And um, I want you to bring in the Salt Lake City Police. Like every authority out there, I want you to bring them in and I want you to arrest Jen. So y'all think she has enough pool to do that? Is it that or do y'all just think that she caught in a tip? Because like, the feds just not going to show up if they haven't had enough evidence. The feds show up after they've had years and years because they want to build a strong, solid case for you so they can put you in jail, I mean, for in prison <clears throat> for a very, very long time. So you mean to tell me in the past year that Meredith just cooked this all up? This is what's going on in y'all mind just because this woman wasn't on the Sprinter van. Oh, my goodness. Lisa is mad because everybody was talking about Mary and no one had her back. I'm like, first of all, you are not friends with Whitney and you're not friends with Heather. The only free, the only reason that you three have, well, they are already cousins and friends. The only reason that you have like really somewhat been here for them is for y'all joint. We want to know what's going on in Meredith's life. We need to know A, B, and C, and D what's going on in your life. And it's just not making sense that now you are friends with Mary. With Mary. And Mary said it just as plainly. 
The reason why she and Meredith are friends is because when they get together, they don't discuss the other girls, what's going on with them. They are focused on what they are doing. But you guys cannot seem to, whenever y'all get together, oh my goodness, can you believe this relationship, this friendship between Meredith and Mary? It is so weird. I can't believe it. It is so weird that Meredith didn't show up and then Mary didn't show up. These two are besties now. They must be in cahoots. That's why they get along. And because they're not caring about y'all. And like I see it. Like when I'm with somebody and I don't care about the other person, that other person ain't gonna pop up in my head because that's that's over there. I don't care. Me and you, we talking, we having a conversation, conversation, we having a good time. But they can't they just cannot figure that out. Then she gets to yelling about how she's richer than everybody there and she don't need to be there. And I was like, if you feel that way, my darling, then leave. Yeah, I apologize. I cut my, I like bit my lip or something. So I got like a sore right there. It's extra annoying. And for whatever reason, I don't know if it's showing up once, you know, I upload it. But my lips are looking very ashy. And I, I assure you that my lips are not ashy. It's just for whatever reason, it's showing up ashy. And I... I mean, I apologize for that, but just know, this is a little, I bit my lip somehow, and my lips are not ashy. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah, she talked about how she rich at everybody, she don't need to be there. And I guess Whitney wants, you know, Whitney's always, I want to be friends with everybody. And she has been, just been feigning to be friends with Lisa since last season, when Lisa didn't see it for her. She's over talking, I guess she was like, I'm going to prove to you that I am a good friend. I even went so far as to question Meredith about her father's memorial. I did that as a good friend to you. I'm showing you that. And they're like, yes, Lisa, we were doing this thing. You had walked off, but we, we was questioning her like, yes, we are your friends. Believe us. We said things when you weren't there. We questioned Meredith when she wasn't there. And Meredith went off, didn't we, girls? Yeah, we, we did that. Like, please believe us. We want to be your friend. Believe what we're saying. And I'm like, really? And I just think it's funny that Jim wants everybody to stop defending the BS. Okay, no, this whole freedom. I don't know who that is. Not answering. She wants to stop um, defending the weird BS between Meredith and Mary. They've been, they have been hurtful to everyone there. Let's talk about being hurtful. You, last season, actually physically assaulted Whitney. You called Heather Shrek and like a manatee. And you you know, was alleging that Meredith was out here cheating on her husband. Is that not hurtful? I'm confused. Now, I'm not saying that Mary is the sweetest of the person, and I'm not saying that Meredith is the sweetest of the person, but they haven't actually physically assaulted somebody or tried to physically assault somebody. Mary, she is just very shady, and she don't see it for you. These one, she doesn't see it for. She only sees it for Meredith. So she's not gonna give you other ladies that much energy. She's just gonna say what she's gonna say and keep it moving. And y'all just can't stand that. Okay, and you, yeah, I said that cheating on her husband. Mary isn't here when Whitney says, I wasn't trying to be disrespectful when I questioned you about your father's memorial. And this is when I was like, okay, since we want to know everything, how? what if we had to, you know, question something about your father? And that's exactly what Mary did. It's like, soon as I thought that, this is when Mary got this. She was like, how would you feel if I told you, I don't believe you haven't talked to your father? How would you take it if somebody said something painful and ripped off the scab and said, we don't believe you? I'm like, I, w I was here. See, at this point, now I'm, I'm going to get to that a little bit later. 
I'm telling you, I was thinking that same thing. As soon as she, right before she said it, I was thinking that. And here go Whitney, Whitney and her confession note. That was a low blow. Blow. How cruel. At least Meredith knows where her father is. He's resting peacefully. I guess I don't know where my father is. Well, because it has something to do with you brought him on the show last season and he didn't like the way he was portrayed. Or is it because this man has a, did he have a, alcohol problem or a pill problem i don't want to put i don't want to put nothing on him that he did not have but you know he was not sober i do know that but anyway so meredith goes upstairs she wants to know since y'all want to know since y'all been talking about me who said what when why and where meredith said it's disgusting for to be discussed in someone's father's um, no, she, this thing when she went upstairs, she was like, it's disgusting for the discussing someone's father. And Whitney was like, did she want me to hire a private investigator? Throwing back at her that she hired a private investigator. And here is the thing that the people are just like, it's going over their head. She hired a private investigator because her son was being stopped online and i believe they may have been messaging him from a burner phone her being the mama bear that she is it's like okay we're going to get to the bottom of this because this person is harassing my family harassing my son i'm going to hire a private investigator so i can get to the bottom of this and maybe i can get this person prosecuted or i can find out who this person is and tell them to stop in the midst of that is when she found her pri her private investigator was like, it's a likelihood that Jen Shaw is the one who did this because she is the one, this is the way Jen types in her text message. It's, it, I, it, I don't have proof, but the likelihood that it was Jen is up there. That is why she hired a private investigator. She didn't hire a private investigator just to go after Jen for no reason. It's just in the process of hiring one, the private investigator believes it was her. She's like, my father passed away. What's not adding up? Here go Whitney. What's not adding up, Meredith Marks, is you told one person one thing, and then you heard it, told another person another day. Then you and your bestie don't show up on a sprinter bus to veil. Then Jen is arrested. So y'all are connecting. Meredith, Mary, don't show up. Jen, the, the feds and everybody else come for Jen. They had something to do with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, we're, like, did your theory that Lisa is up to something just, like, you forgot that or no, you, you no longer believe that? Because Lisa was on the bus calling several lawyers. Now, I am not the brightest person, but I am a suspicious person. And I would be wondering, hmm. Why would Lisa be calling all these lawyers? Because, you know, all of the government agencies, the FBI, the Homeland Security, NYPD, and um, you, um, Salt Lake Police Department came here. Why would she call all those police? Why would she call all those, you know, lawyers for herself? But you just, you forgot about that or that no longer matters? Where we at? Okay, I didn't lost my spot. Okay. Okay. Meredith was fed up. She goes upstairs. She's like, who has been speculating about my father's memorial? Whitney says, everyone. Lisa comes in, yelling, talking about some. She didn't say anything. I'm like, my memory is not what it used to. But I do believe that you were talking about it last episode. Did you or did you not discuss whether she was, wherever the memorial was at, on a Monday or a Tuesday? To me, that's discussing it. Whether you brought it up or not, you were still discussing it like, I don't believe it's true. What? But Meredith was like, that's not what Whitney said. And then somehow, like, she who shall remain nameless jumped in and said, well, Jen said you had called the FBI or something like that. I forgot what happened about that because we don't really care what she's talking about. So then, she then it comes to down, then it comes down to um, 
Did she even have a, like, did you even have a memorial? We just want to know so we can squash things. They just want to know all of her information. We want to know what you, what was like from the moment you were born to this very exact moment. Now, y'all, I am a very nice person. I try my hardest not to be me. I really, really do. But the way that these ladies were coming for her, this is when I've been, been like, okay, you want to poke the bear. Now the bear is fully awake. I would have been like, well, Whitney, since we want to know about everyone's lives, when you were cheating on your first husband, was y'all at a hotel or was his house with his wife or your house with your first husband? I would been, I would have, I would have done some mess like that. I would have went down the line and asked some doggone messed up questions. You know, since we you you ask and mess up and hurtful questions about me that are very disgusting that whether I was at, whether I even had an actual memorial for my father or not, how about I ask some disgusting and doggone and disrespectful questions to you? Where are we at? Heather in her confession talking about something. She must be lying because she didn't tell us. Why did she have to tell you? And like I said earlier, all that speculation and not one of them thought maybe she just wanted to spend a little more time with her family. She didn't want to leave the memorial and come straight to Doggone filming with y'all. This is when Doggone Whitney is, ooh, dang, I got a lot more to talk about where we at. Where is Mary? Where is Mary Cosby? Wait a minute, where, where is Mary Cosby? Okay, why aren't you there for Meredith? Yeah, I got to see you so bad and it's not coming. Mary's like, well, first of all, back up off of me with all that mess you got going on. That's what you're going to do first. Like, you drunk and you talking out of the side of your neck. She didn't say that, but that was the vibe that she was getting from Whitney. You drunk, talking out the side of your neck. Back up off me. You rolling up off me and you don't want it. That's not what you want to do. <clears throat> and she's like, I ain't got time for this. I don't want to be there. Why are you even here? She's like, that was my attempt to like hang out with y'all. But I refuse this. And I am so merry with this one. Like, first of all, why would I want to hang out with y'all? When I just seen y'all do my best good girl like that. Like that. Y'all are really sitting here and questioning whether she had a memorial for her father. And you think I want to sit around to some mess like this? No, I don't. I, I don't at all. These ladies have put in more energy and questions about two Meredith about whether she was at her father's memorial then Jen to have led, allegedly out here stealing folks' money. Isn't, isn't that funny? Y'all so focused on this. Nobody's like, so Jen, how's things going with you? Yeah, really? That's messed up that somebody would think you would do that. Like, we 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 had that little bit of time on the spread of van and we didn't talk about it this. But we didn't spend, what, like three episodes talking about Meredith and her father's memorial? Yeah, please. Now let's operation take Murray Cosby down. So, let me get this straight. Jen can physically assault someone. Threaten to assault someone. Call you all kind of nasty names. And allegedly steal from old folks. And allegedly stole from a friend's store. But Mary Cosby is the problem. Nobody is seeing this for what it is. Y'all crazy. Y'all not making no sense. Jen has done all these things. Now, we seen Jen throw things at Heather. We seen Jen, she threw something at Whitney too. We have seen Jen threatened Whitney. We, well, I don't know if she said it on screen or offline or whatever, but 
and calling with uh, Heather all these names. We know that you know the you know the feds came after her for allegedly stealing older folks' money. We we know that. She even alleged that her good friend was cheating on her husband. We do know that. We do know that Meredith told us that Jen had came into her store and one of the items went missing and they showed that footage. What has Mary done to them? Besides, okay, I'm going to give you the same energy that I feel you're giving me. And I'm not going to be kissing your butt on no situation. I'm going to sit back and do me. As soon as you do me wrong, I'm leaving you over there. Ain't no point of us to keep keying all that other stuff. Mm -mm. She who shall remain nameless, you will jump and stick with at me since the moment I met you. And side note, it is it has come out that Mary felt that the energy that she who shall remain nameless was giving her, and she told Meredith about it. And Meredith, that's why Meredith's been having her back. She was like she felt that energy that she was giving her because she's you know this. Told Meredith, and Meredith, like, I got your back. I got you. Um, it's funny because each person that has, like, done something towards Mary, they're eventually, like, something is happening to them. Um, she was all... Jen was all ugly and rude towards Mary last season and then bam, boom, bam. Not saying that it was not going to happen, but like, bam, boom, bam, what happened to Jen? She ain't really been seeing it for Whitney and bam, boom, bam, we find out that Whitney's husband been doing some things. It's alleged that he's been out here doing some things, you know, making money-wise. Bam, boom, bam. She who shall remain nameless. Just because of the way she feels towards certain people, she is no longer on this show. Nothing's happened towards Heather yet that I know. I'm not saying that Mary can make things happen. I'm just saying that the people who have come for her, things have happened to them as re recently. That's what I'm saying. Where we at? Okay. The ladies are back in, back home, and Meredith's like, these girls are always speculating about me doing A, B, C, and D. I'm going to ride on a Sprinter van with them. Mary was like, okay, girl, I'll see you when we get back home because I'm not doing it. And I don't blame her. Y'all, yeah. Lisa's finally at home cooking a home-cooked meal for her family, and she looked like she did not know what she was doing. She's like, I love my new grill. She has some, like, some vegetables and meat on her. She wanted to prove to us that, you know, she, you know, feeds her family's family something other than, you know, Taco Bell. Yeah. I'm like, I, it didn't, it did not look authentic. It looked like, okay, we're going to do this for this little scene, but y'all Taco Bell is in the other room, so y'all going to eat on that once we get done doing this. Yeah. Lisa is sitting here saying, telling John that she doesn't want to be a punching bag for Meredith and Mary when she literally told Jen that she can be a punching bag to her, for her, so she can feel loved. I am confusion. Now, Girl, she did tell us. I'm not making this up in my head that she told you, and Jen, if you ever just need to hit me so you can feel loved, you can do that. She told her that on the Sprinter band after Jen had got all up in her face. Tell me I did not make that up in my head. But she don't want to be a punching bag to Mary and Mary, but she will be a punching bag for Jim. And I, I was like, okay, girl, you just, you just talking now. You just making nobody sense. 
Meredith has Whitney and Heather over her house for drinks and like a muscle stimulator to apologize and clear things up. And I was like, bruh, if I could like have some machine that can make my abs, like if give me a snatched waist and I didn't have to work out, child, you best believe I would want to do that. Yes, I would. Give me that machine. Then I'd be like, man, it'd probably be painful as so I'll get out. And I'm not for the pain. But I just don't want to work out. I just want, I want to uh, die going. I want to be like I was when I was in my 20s where I can eat everything and I was still small. But I can't do that no more. Murder said that the memorial, her, the memorial was on the 29th and Jen got re arrested on the 30th. So that's like, oh my goodness, why would Lisa say that? But they did show footage um, while it was on the spread bus and Lisa calls Meredith to let her know when Lisa was like, okay, thank you. But that doesn't necessarily, like she was like, Meredith, hey, Jen got arrested, A, B, C, and D. They said that was on the 30th. But Meredith said that she wasn't even physically in um, Aspen at the time. She was in Vail. And I was like, I hope you're not lying, Meredith. I don't think she's lying about a memorial at all. I would hope not. But I also know how production on shows work. How they could have you making a face about something totally different. And then somebody over here is talking and is making it seem like you making this face about that. Or you didn't say something, doggone, five, six episodes. And they take a clip of that, of you saying this, and you not there. And they piecing it together to make it look like something. I do know that happens on television shows. But it, it that, what it looks like is that Lisa was talking to, to Meredith on Tuesday the 30th. Let me see this. On the 30th. About what went on. Now, I don't even know when this was supposed to happen. So let me just, I'm over looking for dates and I don't even know what month it was, child. I know that it, it did seem like Meredith was like, okay, thanks. And this was on the 30th and she said that she wasn't you know, wherever she was at. Now, it could be, where am I at? Hold on, let me go back to my number. Okay, she said she wasn't asked me, she was in Vail. She could have already been in Vail when, yeah, she could have already been in Vail when she told her. She could have had the memorial the day before and then went to Bill. She could have had the memorial in Aspen. Wait a minute. Yeah. She could have had the memorial on the 29th. Wait a minute. Okay. She said the memorial was on the 29th, but when she talked to her, it was on the 30th. But she said she wasn't in Aspen. She was in Bell. Yeah, I don't know. I'm confused. So that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, for 99. Make sure your notifications are on somebody because of likes with my video. You can click on it. You can like it and share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my people. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T standing now. Have a good one.